So, I've been playing the Children of Caliber Ganji mod for a while now and noticed some pretty cool bullet modifiers, so I thought, why not try to beat the game with them? So today we are doing a gimmick run, in which all of the items we get from chests are going to be bullet modifiers. This lets us only with boss rewards and shops as our means to get weapons. And let me tell you, it gets crazy. Look at that! So without further ado, let's get into it! This time I decided to play the Paradox, that way we would have an extra gun to try out the bullet modifiers. Into the first chamber we went, the Paradox spawned me with the Combic Sidearm, Demutation and also a scope that would increase our aim, so that was pretty good. You know what? Let's stick to it. With that done, I started clearing up some rooms and remember that the mutation damage is very nice, so I was having no issue at all. Mutation is pretty good. Found the boss. I'm thinking of going to the rod today. Had to lock in for a chamber one room. What's going on with these rooms? <laughs> and got a reward for it. Oh, would you look at that. A reward that would make our first bullet modifier, in this case funky bullets. Let's see what they do. What they, do. they basically randomize all of our bullet stats and give them an extra bounce. That was satisfying as hell. <laughs> Found an ugly thing. Are you a mimic? I see you. And with that got our second bullet modifier, in this case, snare bullets. I already told you how funky bullets work, and here you can see that snare bullets give a chance to slow down enemies. Went ahead and checked the shop. Well, I think it's fair if I get enough money for it. Unlock the secret floor just in case. And got what will be our third item. Venom rounds. The good stuff. Shots can inflict a powerful venom on enemies they hit. Then went ahead and try how good the venom is against a boss. And I won't lie, I really was hoping for a little bit more damage at this fight, but well, I managed. But there you go, the venom. The venom. Keep going. Nice. Still do have the blank, so let's use it right there. Did. It. Come on. And almost lost my master round. <laughs> there we go. A good master round and elephant gun. And finish up doing some last minute shopping. So I'll get the key. And I'll sell you. I don't really like you that much. And with my new arsenal, I proceeded to the second chamber. Second floor. Here I went ahead and tried out the elephant gun, which was pretty nice. Pretty good. And also still debating if the venom was good. I think the Venom is pretty strong. Made quick work of a Lead Maiden. And let a Gun Knight burn to death. Yeah, that's good. After that I found a familiar face. Who are you? Oh, I hate your guts. Back in the day when I started playing, this guy was the worst. I had to do so many tries to beat him. And now look at me. Still playing Gungeon and now publicly being bad. And he was pretty generous with two keys and an extra chest. And here we got Needle Bullets, an item that gave a lot of shot speed and infinite piercing. And boy if it made a difference. And the piercing is good as hell, also. Got another item. Let's 
get another one. Here we get Flu Bullets, which reduced our shell speed, which wasn't that bad after the huge boost we just got, and also gave us bouncing bullets between targets, so it was pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Here you can see them in action. Like there. And for some reason I turned off my brain after this thing died. Nice. Oh, I forgot about you. Found the boss and proceeded to clear the rest of the chamber. Nice key. Got the second chest of the chamber and this time got the elite bullets. The elite bullets were very good because they not only increased our damage but also gave us aimbot, making us have the power of a console player. Then I found the secret room and got the other bullet modifier, this time it was ballistic rounds. And hear me out. Ballistic rounds get rid of the boss damage cap. Boss damage cap is generally a very important thing and if you don't know why, you'll see soon in this video. Hi Gorgon. How you doing? Slow is so good for her. There she goes. Was, now, if you're thinking that was faster than usual, it's because boss damage cap dictates how much damage a boss can take per second. We just got rid of that, so we are going to be one shot in bosses today. Easy as hell. Got a weapon that does not use bullets, which was pretty funny. And got the rat key, which I was pretty scared of forgetting. Please remember I have it, I always forget. And off to the third chamber I went. Then I quickly realized that if your build revolves around bullets and your weapon doesn't shoot them, it's pretty bad. That's way better. <laughs> <laughs> then, while clearing the chamber, I noticed a pretty cool interaction with elite bullets. It's ricocheting and getting back at the same enemy. On a bullet modifier chest, how on team? Plus one bullet. I think I can use it. And also found another secret room. And we do have a key right here. Good touch. Found the boss, of course. The boss is right here. And at this point I had run out of bullet modifiers from the mod, so I started giving myself ones from the base game. We have, we have a key and two blanks. Got a lucky extra chest. And from it I got another item, in this case Angry Bullets. Angry Bullets. Dealt with a pretty strong enemy. I'm still looking for the shop. Got hit while not paying attention. Good. Finally found a shop and bought a key. Got an extra free chest from a blank shrine? Sure. And went ahead to challenge the boss. Hello, Mr. Tank. I think you should be pretty easy without your boss damage cap. You are nothing with it. And of course I forgot that I had just used my last blank, so here's what happened with that. <laughs> Fuck me, I do not have many blanks. And here is what will be the best gun in the run, and you'll see soon why. Got some battery bullets from the extra chests, and here's what all of the new items do in case you don't know. Plus one bullet makes all of our stats better. Alpha bullet makes the first bullet shot stronger. Angry bullet makes them ricochet to our enemies. And battery bullet electrifies them. Whew, that was a lot. And after that I went to the right. I tried to get in with armor but couldn't so I cheated myself a blank. And here I started noticing the true power this gun holds. Oh dude, look at that. Jesus. Kept on exploring and following the bat. 
did the push in the heart trick just in case. Just gonna push it. That way you can use it. Hello, Mr. Rat. It's been a while. Now we'll behold the power of no boss damage cap. Get your boss damage cap destroyed! Jesus, I love that so much. It's gonna get fucking destroyed. Are you gonna start with that one? Really? Bye bye. One attack. All right. Now, hence, I uh, yeah, I got my ass beat. Oh. <laughs> I gotta remember how to do that. Got some free items, but not a lot though. Then went to the chest and checked for mimics. Do we have any mimics? Yep. Spend my key and proceeded to the next floor. On the fourth chamber, I turned my red items into two bullet modifiers, in this case, bloody 9mm and bouncy bullets. Had some fun with the bullet zombies. And got yet another item. And a chest. Bumble core. This one gave us a chance to shout peace. Bullet time. And an extra key that we may need. In Dramata Strain, I would love that. Oh, I didn't think of that. I'm gonna start using it. And with Bayang and Dramata Strain in mind, I started farming for money on the chamber. Let's open it up. Grey Mouser would be great to steal. A uh, useless heart. Here I decided to get chance bullets, which have a chance to fire bullets from other weapons I have equipped. And here I was having fun with the gamble, this is basically free. <laughs> Found the boss. We have the boss right here. Spend the worst key of my life. Blood shrine, it's pretty bad. I went ahead and challenged the boss for the missing money. Big guns. And well, if you hate Wallmonger, you're gonna love this. Oh, dude, that was faster than I thought. Well, thank you. Oh. You didn't have to. In the end, I decided to sell the scope for the missing money and went ahead and bought the Gondorman straight. Because why not be even stronger? It's been a while since I've seen the vampire. And up to the fifth chamber we went, armed with our new M16. Now look at that. Dude. We are so freaking strong. And when I tell you, I was having a blast with this. Found a very early boss. We have the boss. And kept on exploring the chamber. Made quick work of a demon as you use the new baby. And from it got the chaos bullets. Random effects. And Another one. And from this extra one we got Devolver Rounds. Devolver Rounds are pretty interesting because they can take an enemy and turn him into an easier version of himself. And we do have another chest. Let's open it up. From this one I got Explosive Rounds as I thought Black Bullets could pretty well crash my run at this point. Oh, do you see that? 
That's the boiler rounds. Found two shops and the shop. And decided to spend my money on potion of lead skin. Well, lead skin is good. And with all that done, I went ahead and faced the boss. Hello, Mr. Lizard. How are you doing today? Oh my god, look at that. And same as the previous boss, it wasn't much of a fight. Jesus fucking Christ. What are you talking about? This weapon is so overkill. I love it. And Lich. And off to bullet hell we went. After that, it was just a matter of cleaning up some rooms and searching for the boss. The Gunjang was very good clearing this room as as he didn't shoot through too much ammo. I was having a blast during this bullet hell and that usually doesn't happen. But of course this room had to happen. It, this room. And with that we were ready for bus time. Hello Lich. There it goes, phase one. What are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, poor guy. How you doing, Mr. Lich? Pretty bad, as I see. The arrows are still going, what the hell. GG. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> 